Hey, what is up guys? My name is Alex. Today we're gonna make something that I've been wanting to try out for a really long time. Ever since Destin from Smarter Every Day and more recently Mike Boyd made a video about this, I've been wanting to try it out. And since you already read the title of this video, you probably guessed it. We're making a backwards steering bike. I started out by chopping off the existing handlebars of an old bike. Then I started trying to figure out how to reattach them in a way that would make the wheel turn the opposite direction. That's where this old thing, I think it came for a lathe, came in really handy. It had some drag gears that I could use for my bike. The two gears that I chose were these two. And as you can see, they're not the same size. I'm gonna use the smaller one for the section that goes onto the handlebars and the larger one for a wheel. This will indeed give me a reduction in the steering, but more on that later. So the first part I made was the steel piece that I turned on the lathe and this is to attach the bigger of the two gears to the fork of the bike. Then it was on to making the part that would connect the handlebars back on the bike. For this I chose to weld the old handlebars and stem on top of the gears that already had the shaft in it. And then I would keep the shaft in a steel tube that I could weld onto the frame of the bike. And after grinding some of this old paint off, I welded everything together. Unfortunately though, being too sloppy when making this meant that the gears had way too much play. So I had to cut everything off again and start over. This time with a way thicker steel tube. And to get a more precise fit, I used the lathe to bore out a piece of brass that would fit perfectly with the shaft of the gear and that I could press into the steel tube, which I welded onto the frame. This turned out to work much better. And of course, everyone was very eager to give this a try. <laughs> this is Oscar, being the first one to try riding the bike. <laughs> Unfortunately, at this point, my camera ran out of battery. By the time I had charged the batteries again, this happened. So it's... 1.30 a.m. and I just broke my bike. It doesn't really steer, like... But the good part was, after an hour and 20 minutes, I was finally able to get some kind of distance. Still, I wasn't at the point where I would say that I could ride the bike, but at least I was getting a distance of about 50 meters fairly consistently. Sorry this is a little bit dark, but I am in my car, I just parked, I was just driving home, it's about a 10 minute drive, and during that period of time I probably almost crashed 20 times. Why? Well, every time I'm supposed to go right, I steer left, because I just spent an hour and 20 minutes earlier today trying to learn how to ride this stupid bike. So. Every time I'm supposed to go right, I steer left. Yeah. So after safely returning to the shop, I started to fix the bike. Now, I'll be completely honest with you. This is far from a good design for a bike like this. Stuff just wasn't precise enough made. I just took stuff that I had laying around in the shop and wanted to make something in a hurry. And I'm paying the price for this now. And actually, this is the fifth time I'm in here in the shop, trying to get one more go out of her. So 
So now to the obvious question. Can I ride it? Let's find out. I think that's a yes. So to get to this point, I spent about two hours. It's not snood, but at least I can ride it now. There's just one more thing I have to show you. There is still a lot of play in the steering. And that certainly doesn't help. Also, Let's talk about this gear reduction. So when I turn, the smaller wheel is on the steering wheel. Whereas the bigger wheel, the one with more teeth, is on the part that is attached to the wheel. So my theory is it's easier. Okay, so the reason why I think it's easier to learn how to ride this kind of bike with a gear reduction is because in the beginning, everyone, myself included, always tends to overcompensate a lot when we feel that we start to lose our balance. Something that more often than not leads to more steering in the wrong direction and even more loss of balance. So having a gear reduction kind of smooths out the steering a bit and makes it easier to learn how to keep your balance and steer in the right or wrong direction. Kind of the same way that a car has a gear reduction in the steering wheel, which makes it easy and comfortable to drive straight down the highway. The gear reduction in this case is 20 teeth for the wheel on the handlebars and 25 teeth for the one on the wheel. This makes up for a 1.25 to 1 gear reduction. <laughs> oh yeah, and finally, this is me trying to ride a regular bike for the first time after having learned how to ride the backwards bike. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video, leave a comment below and let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, maybe you want to watch another one of my videos or consider becoming a subscriber. And here's a compilation of people trying to ride the bike. See you next time!